Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome to my channel Heaven's Life and I hope all of my friends are well and today I am going to show you how can you take an input and show the output in the emulator software and here I have used the 8086 and the version is 4.00 and here these are the constant uh, which we have to take in for all the program where we have used dot model small dot stack hundred days dot data and uh, many others um, but why we we have used this the size of the data and code in a program can be determined by specifying a memory model and here small is our memory model and the purpose of this stack segment declaration is to set aside a block of memory to store the stack and the stack area should be big enough to contain the stack at its maximum size and dot stack 108 sets aside bytes for the stack area and code segment contains a program's instruction and this is the main procedure and this is the execution program now we will see how to take an input for this we need to write it mob move a h comma one and in 21 h by writing this uh, we can take uh, uh, we can take our input and we can check it uh, by clicking on emulate where we can see there remain single step and run so we can we can click on single step and we can also click on run but many often we need to uh, see we need to uh, check the step by step and that moment uh, we need to click on that so now we will click on single step next next then here is the screen output screen and here we can write we can take the input like this if i write this yes then we can see this and here we can take only one input and if we did not interrupt 21 is then we cannot take the input like this when we delete it and emulate it then we can see the program has terminated that means we need the interrupt 21 is when we write the interrupt 21 is then we can take the uh, input so we rewrite this interrupt 21 h and if we write this int 21 h again then we can see that here we can take two input and if we uh, delete the interrupt 21 edge then only one input can take in how can we show the output now i will show you that we need to write move a h to move dl um, h. 
for the output we need to write move ah2 and for the input we need to write move ah1 here is the difference 1 and 2 now again we will emulate this and run it then we can take the input and we can say here is the output but the input and output all are remain in the same row but if we want to write this in separate line then we need to take a new line between them and how can we take the new line here i will show you how can we take the new line for the new line we need to write For the new line, we need to write this, and this is uh, these lines are used for the new line, and we need to write this as we have already taken move ah2 so we did not take it and here you can see i have write i have written this 0 ah and 0 dh so uh, so what is the meaning of this 0 ah and 0 dh here we can see ascii course where here is the if we double click in this screen then we can see here 0 a means new line and 0 d carries return so for a new line we need to write to this so after writing this if we click on emulate and run this program then we can see this friends you can see that the input and output are in the separate line so friend from this video we have learned how can you take an input and how can you show the output in the comment screen so friends, if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and do a comment if you face any problem. I will try to solve your problem. Okay friends, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.